Today's new video from Aqua Verde will explain how to plant and grow an excellent choice for planted riparians, Mexican milkweed. Mexican milkweed resembles the familiar North American plant, common milkweed, but it's shorter overall. Instead of pink flowers, the flowers are scarlet red with gold and yellow. The leaves are pointed rather than rounded, and it's also a tropical plant, so it can't survive a cold winter, but it's very easy to grow as a, as a garden plant and in a planted riparium as well. Here's a 50 gallon planted riparium recreating a grassy riverbank environment along with some Mexican and Central American fish species. Mexican milkweed would be an excellent choice for a riparium setup like this or any medium to large size planted display. This quick list provides a little more description of Mexican milkweed as a riparian plant. Mexican milkweed is a true marginal aquatic plant. It grows, in nature, it grows along the edges of rivers, along the edges of lakes, in marshy areas. So it can represent this kind of environment very well in a riparian display and it also adapts to riparian conditions. It is native to Mexico, Central America, and Northern South America, so you can use it to make a very good biotope representation uh, along with a aquarium display representing these areas with representative fish. It's easy to grow, very easy to grow, uh, both as a riparian plant and also as an annual garden plant outside. It's very easy to bloom. It might be the easiest of all riparian plants to bloom in the fish tank. And it's pretty easy to find. Again, it's a popular plant to grow in the garden. Uh, like regular common milkweed, it will attract monarch butterflies and other insects that, that pollinate the flowers or, or chew on the leaves. So it's an all-around just very good choice for planted riparians. A little more specifically, I'm going to describe how to plant Mexican milkweed with the Aqua Verde riparian planter. The Aqua Verde riparian planter is an excellent size and shape for growing all kinds of riparian plants. The planter cup is constructed with tab and slot assembly, an ingenious new technology developed by Tab Synth Design Works. And you can find it uh, for sale at aquaverde.com. Ripariansupply.com will also direct to the same online store and website. Here's the riparian planter packaged as a two-pack with laser cut acrylic parts, heavy duty suction cups, a detailed instruction sheet, and a couple of other parts. This detail shows assembly of the tab and slot joints to make the sturdy clear plastic planter cup. Here are most of our other supplies and materials that we're using for planting today, including the Mexican milkweed growing in a four-cell pack, the riparian planters, a few containers of water, planter gravel substrate, scissors, bamboo skewer, and a sharp razor blade. The Mexican milkweed plants were growing in regular pro-mix potting soil, and to get them ready for planting in the riparian planter with planter gravel, we first need to rinse away all of this soil. And by just dunking it in some water, teasing the roots apart, all that potting soil will, will start to wash away. A bamboo skewer is another is a real handy tool to use for, for teasing the roots apart and removing more of that potting soil media. These roots are six, seven, eight inches long, so Another step that we're going to take right now is to trim, trim them back to just a few inches long so that they'll fit inside the riparian planter. Mexican milkweed tends to grow kind of tall and leggy with just a single shoot. So to encourage more branching and a more bushy shape, I'm going to cut the top of this plant off. I'm going to cut it about half of the top off. Like other milkweeds, Mexican milkweed has white milky latex sap that, that flows fast when you wound the stems or the leaves. So I'll just sop that up with some paper towel. I can use this top cutting to, uh, to make some more Mexican milkweed plants. It roots very easily in water and you can see that I snipped off the flower from the top. I snipped off the bottom pair of leaves and by just setting this cutting in, uh, in a dish of water I can, I can easily have some more new plants to plant. I put the milkweed cuttings in the dish of water with the trimmed leaf node below the water level, and I should start to see new roots developing on these cuttings in just a week or 10 days. 
These prepared Mexican milkweed plants still have a lot of roots, so I'm just going to trim back a little bit more of the roots, thin them out. By trimming back the roots, I will encourage new, new roots to grow inside of the riparian planter. I'm planting both of these prepared plants together in the same planter because I again want more bushy foliage that will fill in faster as they grow and develop. Most kinds of riparian plants should be planted so that the plant crown, the area where the roots and the shoots originate, is positioned just below the top level of the planter. And I'm going to use two fingers to hold these milkweed plants at the right level while I fill the planter with gravel. While planting, I use the scissors to tap the sides of the planter so that the gravel will settle into the areas around the, around the roots and fill any air pockets. One of my last steps before planting in the aquarium will be to quickly dunk the whole planter in a dish of clean water. This will, will rehydrate the plant roots and the weight of the water will also steady the plant in the planter, make it easier to handle and, and position in the aquarium. We'll also attach the heavy duty suction cups, pulling them up into the keyhole slot so that they lock in place. These suction cups work much better than the thinner suction cups used with most aquarium heaters, power heads, things like that. As long as the glass in the aquarium is kept clean, these suction cups will maintain a strong grip for a long time. The riparian planter with a pair of Mexican milkweed plants is ready to position in the riparium setup. I should start to see new growth uh, really soon after planting. Again, this plant is very easy to bloom as well. I might see new flowers starting to develop just a month or two after planting in the, in the riparium. I'll put the stem cuttings with their water dish from sunny windowsill and I should have new rooted plants to use in, in just a little while as well. Here's a riparium display in an 11 gallon glass aquarium. This planting used a different plant selection but Mipsy milkweed could also be a good choice for a, for a riparium like this. For a smaller tank like this, Mexican milkweed might grow kind of tall, but you can easily control the size and shape of this plant with some pruning. Please visit us again online, aquaberry.com and riparianusupply.com. We'll both direct to our website and online store. Thank you.